Welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to touch really quickly on cannas and how to deadhead them so that they continue to bloom all season long for you. So let me bring you in closer so you can really see what I'm about to do. So here you can see we have some nice beautiful flowers that are still in their prime flowering. But over here you can kind of see that it's already expired and it's gone bad. But see right next to it? Here's a new one coming up. So when you go to deadhead these, like this one, don't be so quick to just go all the way to the bottom of the stem and snip because chances are, if I separate this one, it looks like one flower. But see how we have a whole other bud right here? So once this one is expired, I can snip this one off and let this one grow. Here's another really good example. I have two, so I let this one go and then I'll just go right down to the base about a half inch above the joint of the new flower and snip it. Now this one will take over. And basically deadheading stops sending the energy to these things or the plant thinks it's kind of dying off because it's production of seed. So you want to get rid of those old flowers no matter what plant as soon as you can. And that continues to flush new energy into new blooms and new growth all season long. So here we have another one. Let me spin this around so you can see. Right here, here's the new flower. And now you can see here, I already snipped one off. So. so here's the new flower right here. Here's your old flower. I'm gonna go right down about a half inch above the joint, snip it off. Now we're just left with the new one. Here we have a new flower and an old flower, right? Wrong. New flower, another new flower, old flower. So you can see how tricky it is, this one, it's just only a little bit because I have another new flower here. Right here, we have a flower, but look down here, we have another one coming in. So just make sure that you follow the stalk down and snip it, leaving the next flower to grow. Here we are again. I just wanted to show you a different canna, different type of flower, but same structure. So here you can see I have my seed pods. This flower has expired, and I really wanted to send more energy into new flowers and growth. So. Similar to the same stem, I'm just gonna come right down here at the V, chop that one off, and now I'm left with my existing flower, and you can see a new flower here that I'll be able to cut this one off, and then this one will pop. So here's one over here, it still has some flowers on it, but in a day or two, I'll come right down here. You know what, I'll do it right now. We'll snip that one off, because it was pretty much done anyway. And here we have just new flowers left, your canna doesn't have to put more energy into the seed production, thinking that it's the end of the season, and you get flushed with new flowers. So I hope you learned something on your cannas today. Have fun clipping and deadheading them. If you have any questions, let me know.